to all those who thought I was done talking about mental health, please listen up because I will not be silent on this topic. This is a topic that needs to be discussed. There are so many going through this, so many dealing with this, and so many that don't know how to come forward and deal with any of these situations. If I can do my little part of having an episode come out weekly, have my own series uh, to hopefully help at least one person out by situations that I've been through from some firsthand experience and other guests I may have in the future that have experiences, then I will definitely continue to do my part. I will not be silent. I will keep speaking on this for it is important and it is important to me. Please enjoy today's listen on mental health and please check on your people always never know what they are going through be blessed what's going on welcome back to lawn dude unearthed this is micah your host for the (laughs) morning for the afternoon for the evening for whatever time that you are listening to this podcast and uh, just know it's always much appreciated that you uh, come to listen to this podcast. Now, as you know, it is um, this is when I do my mental health installment. Now, my mental health installments are for everyone to listen to. But today, I'm more so probably going to specify this uh, to the husbands and fathers. Uh, just because obviously that's what I can speak on. So today's um, topic is going to be not always all right. So first thing I'm going to say is how you doing? How you feeling? How's your mental? And did you check on your people, man? Did you check on yo? people because you got to never know what they're going through so always check on your people uh keep in mind this isn't gonna be that long man i'm trying to uh shorten this up for those who just don't have as much time and just need a little something something you know from someone who has um the experience i would say and just well being a husband and a father and a business owner I do have experience in that. I'm not the most knowledgeable person, but, you know, I'm just giving my little two cents worth. So, not always all right. You always got to check on your people. Um, More specifically, I would say husbands and fathers and business owners that uh, you may know that's around you. Now. I'm going to speak from a uh, first person here as to what they might be going through. So as husbands, fathers, and business owners, it's our job to provide solutions always, or at least, you know, that's what we think. And that's what we try to do for this reason. If you ask, you know, one of us, how, you know, trying to phrase it best here. If you ask one of us if we're okay, the answer almost is always, I'm all right, or I'm okay. Speaking from experience, though, when you get that kind of response, you best believe that they aren't all right. They may be constantly feeling Like they can always do more or do better for everyone when they are already doing their best to provide a solution. So again, I say check on your people, especially if you know someone like this. Normally, someone like this is also someone who is a strong person as well. 
these people are strong because of the mountains that they climb, storms they weathered, and constant obstacles they continue to overcome. Just noted that this same individual may have learned to bottle up everything inside due to not knowing how to express themselves or even feeling that as a strong person, they're able to have a moment of vulnerability. So... I'm putting that context out there so you kind of know what to look for. Look for somebody in your life that you know. I would say more specifically a husband or a father or if this appeals to a um, a woman as a, um, you know, as a wife and a mother, then, you know, it's the same principle. All the reason why I'm saying husband and father is because I am a husband and I am a father, so I can speak on that. You know, I'm not a guy who's going to speak on a bunch of stuff that I don't know about. So, you know, look for the strong people around you. Um, I would even add in the person that you think has all the answers, the person that you think is always good. That the person that when you're helping out other people who show that they need to the help, the person who basically is in the background and they seem strong and you're like, okay, well, let me help this person that needs help because that strong person that I know, they can handle this situation on their own. They'll be okay. They're doing all right because they said they're doing all right. I'm going to tell you right now, man. That strong person that you know isn't always doing all right. Check on them. Be there for them as well. This has actually given me or provided me better context on what to look for myself. Because being a strong person who is a husband, father, and a business owner, I could tell you uh, when it comes to the subject right here and what I basically just said, I'm speaking from experience. I don't know how many times, you know, I've been going through some things or dealing with stresses of, you know, owning a business and just juggling everything. And I've, I've felt like, hey, I can't be vulnerable, man. I got to just stay strong. I got to stay strong. It's like, heck, even right now, I've um, expressed through my last couple podcasts, you know, how I'm changing things. I had a call to action podcast earlier this week where I straight up said, I'm changing, you know, how I'm doing my sales approach. That's just an example right there of there was a moment where I was really feeling down and everything else. And because I am that strong person, I consider myself that strong person. You know, I have a strong belief in God. I prayed on it and everything else. And just, it came to me, you know, being a solution finder, being provided uh, a solution. Decided to go ahead and um, just do what I can to improve on myself and improve on my uh, cash flow. But, there are so many out there that are in the same position and they're not they're not really looking for that solution for themselves. Just like how I just gave you the context and example of myself, you know, searching for the solution for myself, you know, praying to God and reevaluating what I can do. There are a lot out there that don't even do that. They're so good at looking at solutions, looking for solutions for other people, whether it's their clients, their family, friends, whoever, that they don't even stop to think and look for themselves. And it's natural. It comes natural. As a business owner, I can tell you that definitely comes natural. 
There are times where I have to slow myself down and go, you know what? I need to look for the solution for me as well. But all naturally, that's just not the way we're wired. So this is why I say be sure to check on your people. Check on all your people, man. Check on your uh, family and friends who are parents, who are married, who are running a business. I will tell you from experience, there are things on that person's mind 24-7. I'm standing here the day after 4th of July. The day after 4th of July, I'm supposed to be off today. That was the goal. But I decided that I'm not where I would like to be. So I got up early today and uh, went ahead and knocked out some sales, some marketing, and um, follow-up emails, upsells to current clientele, trying to get scheduling ready, invoicing ready for upcoming you know, services, and it's about midday, and I'm about done with that. The goal was for me to finish that before, you know, the family got up, and for the most part, I did, but they already knew that I was going to be driven to knock that out so that I can enjoy the rest of the weekend without even thinking about it, so that is just an example of how you really can't shut it off as a business owner at all times and when it comes to parenthood and it comes to being a spouse oh you're not shutting that off i'm telling you right now you're thinking about your wife and kids uh the whole time you're out and about trying to uh conduct business it's just natural i know for me they are my wife so it comes natural for me to always be thinking about them sometimes to be honest with you when i'm going through those tough times mentally sometimes well i'm not gonna say sometimes in my case pretty much all the time that could snap me out of anything that i'm feeling like mentally that's negative so i say check on your people in these positions, especially your strong people, please check on your strong people, man. Because um, I'm going I'm to tie myself in that category. We need checking in on as well as strong people. We need to know that people are there thinking about us as well. Because sometimes, sometimes it is tough being strong for everyone. Being the person that everyone can depend on. Uh, we embrace this role, but sometimes it is definitely nice, you know, when people check in on us as strong people. And strong people should also check in on other strong people. <laughs> Let me say that again for the people in the back, man. Strong people should definitely be checking in on other strong people. I just listed how I can determine a strong person because I feel like I am one. So if you just list it, you know, if you know what a strong person looks like, what the build is like, explain to me why it is that you can't, you know, check on another strong person. I know for me and me personally, uh, my wife is also a business owner, and she's a strong person. So I check on her, and, you know, vice versa. That's, that's just how that goes. I have a lot of friends and family in my corner that they're strong people who are business owners as well who need to be checked in on. Just making sure everybody's okay. Making sure everybody's, you know, getting through everything all right. But that's all I have for today. Now I'm going to add a little touch to what I'm about to say and say and tell you, hey, 
Check on your strong people, man. Check on your strong people. And also just check on your people in general. Be sure to make sure everybody's always doing well. Everybody's always blessed and highly favored. And never stop praying. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Thank you for listening to Lawn Dude on Earth. We talk about all kinds of things here. The good stuff, the tough stuff, and everything in between. If you like the show, please give us a five-star review. You can find us on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, and have a blessed day.